This army of AI-powered robots is about to bring unique 3D printed furniture to your local store. Siemens and Seed are partnering up with Hattie to build the world's largest 3D printing facility. Its name, the Microfactory. It measures 3,000 square meters and houses a team of eight Seed hybrid flexbots. Together, these robots are capable of producing up to 300,000 3D printed pieces per year. The flexibility of the robots and the material being used allows the factory to create a variety of products without sacrificing the amount being produced. This is how it works. It is Siemens Digital Twin Software, NX, is used to build a virtual model of the product. NX Cam Robotics translates that model into additive and subtractive tool pathing. It programs the steps and movements the 3D printing robots will take to translate the virtual model into the real world. It's also capable of modeling the plastic beads as the printer extrudes them. This allows the user to accurately simulate milling the model, check if the design has been sliced correctly, and calculate how much milling stock will remain after printing. Next step is the actual printing. The robots are controlled using Siemens Cinumeric Run My Robot controllers. They ensure the accuracy and precision of the robots, not just for printing, but also for surface finishing with milling spindles. It's as simple to use as any CNC machine. No special programming language required. This all ties into Hattie's goal of creating a truly circular system for their products. Traditional manufacturing methods that carve out the desired shape from solid blocks waste up to 90% of the raw material. Because 3D printing builds objects layer by layer, it only uses as much material as needed. Reusing recycled post-industrial polymers pushes that resource efficiency even further. With these fully reusable materials, Hattie aims to print sustainable and fully customizable furniture at a scale never seen before. 3D printing gives designers the freedom to create items that would be impossible with traditional manufacturing. And with the micro factory, it could transform the industry, not just in efficiency, but also in sustainability.